first pay the people why are you blocking the farmers from getting money even though they're the main source that you are getting the raw cocoa for you to make the chocolate I'm so, so very happy with Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana. Well done. We are so proud of you. This is the kind of decision and leadership we need in Africa. Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana are boycotting Cocoa Sustainability Meeting hosted by the World Cocoa Foundation in Brussels. Authorities in the two West African countries accuse multinational chocolate companies and traders of blocking measures to improve cocoa farmers' income. This follows recent measures taken by the Ghanaian government to improve the financial position of the country's cocoa farmers. This includes a cocoa farmer's pension scheme and an increase in the cocoa producer's price to 21% for the 2022 and 2023 cocoa session. As you know, Cote d'Ivoire is the largest producer of cocoa and Ghana the second. So it's only fair that the farmers get money. They literally live under the poverty line and they're supposed to be the richest because we all eat chocolate. Okay, not all of us, but you know the market. It's a huge market and a lot of people enjoy chocolate and we pay a lot of money to consume that chocolate. But guess who's not benefiting from that money? The farmers, the people that work the grounds, the people that produce the raw material, they never are compensated the right way. This is something that we actually talked about um, the last video or two videos ago. We talked about how farming is important, but for some reason, our farmers and our countries don't get compensated. Even though people pay a lot of money to get the final products like coffee, like chocolate. It makes no sense today that Africa accounts for 75% of the global production of cocoa, but Africa gets only 2%. I mean, uh, it, uh, you know, two percent of a one hundred billion dollar market for chocolates. So the price of cocoa will fall, like it has just fallen again. Cote d'Ivoire is losing a billion dollars as a result of that. But the price of chocolates never goes down. The price of cotton will fall, but the price of textiles and apparels will never go down. And so the price also of uh, coffee beans will fall, but never the price of uh, uh, you know brewed coffee that uh, people are making money smarty all the way to the bank. And so we've got to make sure that we make agriculture value chains that allows Africa to add value to everything it produces. So well done, Ghana. Well done, Cote d'Ivoire. That is something that we can support. You are showing that you care about your people. You are showing that you are not going to accept the nonsense. Like they have the audacity to call you in a meeting in a, what is it called? Cocoa sustainability, blah, blah, blah. First, pay the people. Why are you blocking the farmers from getting money, even though they they're the main source that you are getting the raw cocoa for you to make the chocolate, the chocolate powder, whatever that you make out of it and get millions, if not billions. So this is not fair. And I am glad Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire are standing up for their people and showing that they care. Anyways, fam, let me know down below what your thoughts are about this decision to boycott the meeting in Brussels by Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.